We're continuing to share the history of Palestine and Israel as the violent war between them continues one year later. The resistance from Palestinians was mainly against the British for the creation of the State of Israel, which dates back to the late 1930s. One of the most notable of these Palestinian uprisings became known as the Great Revolt. From the Israeli perspective, these revolts, revolutions, were considered often just massacres or pogroms, a kind of semi-organized attack. There were skirmishes between armed Arab groups, Palestinian groups, and Jewish militias throughout the 20s and the 30s. And as often is the case, civilians paid the price. In crushing this great revolt, um, that the British are the first people to propose the partition of Palestine, in which there would be a Palestinian and an Israeli state. For Zionists, this gave them a state, and so many of them supported the partition because um, even if it wasn't as large a state as they wanted, it was a, a state on the ground where they had had none. The tension has continued for more than 75 years since, including both violent protests and rules that affect daily life for Palestinians in Israel. The human rights uh, organization Adela records 67 discriminatory laws against Palestinians living uh, within Israel. Then after these um, widely recognized facts about the nature of uh, Palestinian life and Israel's illegal actions towards Palestinians, throughout um, historical Palestine. That was Kareem Mathar, an associate professor of English at CU Boulder. He tells us the effects of this most recent conflict that started in October of last year could last for decades. The entirety of uh, Gaza's um, educational infrastructure has been destroyed. Every one of Gaza's 11 universities and 80% of its schools, including United Nations schools, have been destroyed. The entirety of um, Gaza's uh, medical infrastructure has been destroyed by the State of Israel. Are there any other possibilities or solutions to this very long-lasting conflict between the two states? I think we were real close in the 90s when I lived there until the assassination of Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin by a radical Jewish nationalist. I think we were close in 2000 at Camp David, but ultimately those things fell through. With continuing famine, destruction, and humanitarian crises, Palestinians and Israel face an uncertain future. What we do know is that pressure is mounting on the Israeli government to reach a ceasefire deal with Hamas. With social media, this latest conflict is being documented across major platforms and viewed globally, from student encampments on college campuses to worldwide protests at embassies. With photojournalist John Rose Henderson, I'm Shanzay Marani, Denver 7.